Hey, good morning everybody. Ampreparaguy.com 203-892-4119. So next week I plan on getting back on and hopefully I can complete the RF deck for the uh, 10kW 6 meter amp. I'm waiting on the plate transformer so I have so many ham amps to repair. This is my primary thing. This is what I do during the work week, day in and day out. I take calls on the weekends basically any time if someone's calling to send an amp in if they want the information to send one in you can usually get a hold of me you know through text or phone call um, I'm not someone you have to chase around so I'll be getting back on that I'll make videos and stuff and that's gonna be a really cool amp I'm gonna show it in uh, you know working when it's all done a little you know show output test and what so here we have another AL 80 B I'll show you what I did to it and I have a lot of other stuff to work on. Waiting on a relay for this one. To order parts for the SP200. I'll have a video on the uh, SP220. That one had shipping damage. There's another FL2100B. And I have uh, amps in back of me all um, stacked up. So anyway. So. So I went ahead and changed the... Let me grab a screwdriver so I can point at everything so I went ahead and changed the soft start resistor I was damaged I had to change both SO239 connectors I put in gas discharge tubes it was lacking them I took out the metal oxide variistors cleaned the rotary switches the band switch here and then the input rotary switch Air variable looks good on the plate side. I re-soldered the connection over here. It was really cruddy. And uh, replaced the fuses. This thing is all set, ready to go. Tested full output, all bands, needed a new tube. Just a note, please don't ever ship it with the anode connection here, the heat dissipating cap for the anode connected to the strap that goes to the parasitic board because this ends up snapping and can end up doing damage so you know you could you know zip tie it to the socket carefully you know, over to the side here and then it'll be secure for shipping so if you need an amplifier repaired feel free to give me a call also clean the contacts on these two relays the tear relay and the soft start re relay also needed a new meter protection diode that was uh, shorted so I'm gonna get to work I um, have to order some parts and uh, I'll have more videos here and there but just super swamped here I've been getting at least one amp a done a one amp done a day sorry it's still early here it's 5 a.m. I start very early so thanks again for, for watching and please like, share, and subscribe. If you subscribe, then you'll know when I put the next 6 meter amp on. And then I'll, when that's all done, time permitting, I will be shooting videos of the grid driven 4CX15000. I'll be making that uh, output network multi band. I used to have to change the tank coil and yes it was run within the legal limit just lots of headroom it was something more of a fun project than anything but uh they think i foresee getting rid of that that'll go to um a contester that wants lots of headroom with no limit on the the amount of time that he can key so thanks for watching have yourself a great day take care 73